Welcome to part 9 of using Photon Networking with Unity. This is more of a helper tutorial. I'm going to talk about how you might leave a game and rejoin the lobby. So my layout does look a little bit different compared to the, uh, the last videos, but I have my project manager over here on the bottom right, the inspector still on the right, and the hierarchy still on the left. I mostly just moved the game window into scene because it's easier for me to work with this way. Since these are essentially extra features, I'm going to just make a new folder in my scripts folder and I'm going to call it extra. I'm going to open that up and I'm going to make a new script. I'm going to call it uh, leave current match. And this is just going to be tied to a button that once clicked will exit the match and rejoin the lobby. I'm going to be adding that button to the game scene. So I will need a canvas on that scene, which we don't have yet. So the first thing I'm going to do is select my canvas in the hierarchy and just right click and copy. And then I'm going to go to scenes and open up the game scene. And then I'm going to go back to the hierarchy and just paste it. Uh, now we don't really need uh, most of this. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the majority of it. So expand the canvas, select current room and lobby, go ahead and press delete select canvas again and uh, you'll want to delete the main canvas manager script as well or rather remove it from the game object and let's just change the screen space to overlay okay so we're gonna add our button now so with canvas selected in the hierarchy right click UI button I'm gonna call it leave match and right now it's kind of off to the middle here so I'm going to move it over just drag it on up I'm going to resize it as well make it a little bit bigger now I'm going to expand the leave match button select the text and change the size to 64 so it's easier to see uh, and add a little bit of text on there And now, with the leave match object selected in the hierarchy, we're going to add our new script. And that was leave current match. And like all the other buttons, on the on click, we're going to add an event. For the object, we're going to use itself because we want to use the leave current match script. So we'll drop that in there. And uh, there's no methods under it yet so we have to go ahead and do that now so go back to your scripts folder extra and open up leave current match okay so this is going to be really quick go ahead and delete the start and update add a public void we'll just call it on click leave match and we're going to do uh, photon network dot leave room which is essentially the same thing as leaving the current match. And we're going to do photon network dot loads load level, and we're going to do zero. Uh, if you remember, we talked about this in the previous videos, where whenever you go to compile, there will be numbers to the right of each scene, and the lobby is scene zero in this project. So I'm essentially telling photon to load the lobby. Go ahead and save the script and jump back to the editor select the leave match button and under the on click for the button script you should see the one we just added under the leave current match script there we go uh, so go ahead and save your scene and now let's go back to the lobby scene which is the main scene there's going to be some messages in the console I want you to see so I'm going to go ahead and select my console and uh, I'm going to test this out by hitting play. So it's connecting. I'm in the lobby. So I'm going to go ahead and make a room. I'm going to start the match. And I have my leave match button, which I'm going to click now. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the project. You notice we got a couple errors. Uh, we got this duplicate ID found, which I will talk about momentarily. 
and we got the connect using settings failed only connect while in a disconnected state uh, the reason you're getting that is because in the previous tutorial I have on my lobby network script which I'm gonna go ahead and open up right now I have on start to connect to photon when in reality I should have that to only connect whenever I'm not connected so I'm gonna do if photon network connected I'm going to actually add an explanation point to symbolize not connected and I'm going to wrap that in brackets. So I'm going to save that script and then go back to the editor. I'm going to hit play again and make a run and start it up once I'm in the lobby. Then hit leave match. And you notice the second error is gone but the first one is still there. So this error is actually unrelated to uh, leaving the match and going back to the lobby. It's popping up because I have my player network script as do not destroy. So you can see right here it actually talks about it in the error message if you read it. It might it even tells you maybe one wasn't destroyed on scene load. So that's a pretty good hint what's going on. Uh, to show you how to show you what's going on, I'm going to select my player network. I'm going to start the match create a random room, join it, and you can see that it's still there. Now pay attention to the DDOL script which is for do not destroy on load or don't destroy on load rather and I hit leave match and you can see that it duplicates. That's because that object is made in the lobby scene and it's trying to spawn two player networks because one persists and then it's trying to spawn a new one when I go back. Um, proper way to really handle this is to make a new scene, add this section right here, the do not destroy on load. So pretty much any script you need to persist throughout your entire game, add it to that one scene and only load that scene once in the game and never go back to it. And that way these objects will persist throughout the game and you will never see those errors because they won't be tried to uh, load multiple times.